Imagine Dragons wowing the crowd at the iTunes Festival last night at the South by Southwest Festival. This was in Austin, Texas. They shared the stage with up-and-comers London Grammar and Coldplay. Pretty big show. Really nice to be there. All right, well, two other big shows on stage here in TO, American Idiot and Chicago. We chat with the stars of both productions, but first, we now know the real reason Robin Thicke canceled his concert last night. Here's Eva Fragiscados with tonight's Entertainment City. New details are revealing more about what prompted Robin Thicke to postpone his gig at Casino Rama last night. Sources tell Entertainment City the celeb and his estranged wife Paula Patton had a fight over the weekend in Vancouver, where the actress is working on the upcoming Warcraft flick. Flash forward to Monday night when Thicke was spotted celebrating his 37th birthday with Leonardo DiCaprio until early yesterday morning, just hours before he was supposed to hit the stage in Aurelia. Here's hoping he makes his rescheduled concert set for July 26th. While the Blurred Line singer is staying out of Ontario for now, Justin Bieber is currently spending some in his home province. The 20-year-old landed at a Waterloo airport last night. Bieber is likely with his fam in Stratford, away from his ongoing legal drama. Chris Pine was arrested for a DUI after leaving a rap party for his film Z for Zachariah in New Zealand. The 33-year-old is due in court later this month. Who are you? What's wrong? You're crazy. I'm crazy! Opening in theaters this weekend is Enemy. Not only was the mystery thriller filmed here in Toronto, it also premiered at TIFF. That's where our Colin and Justin caught up with the star-studded cast. So obviously you've got a bit of a bond with our fair city. Uh, definitely the city itself is full of, you know, the love of the arts is, is everywhere. Um, and I, I, think this, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful city. This movie is a little bit off the wall as well, isn't it? Yes, it is off the wall. The film is just... Uh, about ambiguity. You're never sure what you see. It's a movie that is uh, designed to be uh, fun for the audience, but it's a movie that is mind-bugging a bit. Don't want to be an American idiot. Tony Award-winning musical American Idiot is now in Toronto for one week only. The talented cast tells us the show, which brings Green Day's multi-platinum album to life, has been a hit with Canadian audiences. Usually a little bit rowdier, they do a little more screaming, which gives us a little bit more energy. So I would say on the whole, Canada's been really great to us. Catch American Idiot at Royal Alexandra Theatre now through to Sunday. You are about to see the story of murder, greed, corruption, violence, exploitation, adultery, and treachery. Elvis Stoiko is flexing his song and dance All muscles the in Chicago. The two-time Olympic gold medal winning figure skater tells me he's embracing his stage debut. Are you feeling it, uh, nerves at all about your debut? Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. I want to make sure that it's natural but still have that dark side that that Billy has being that very manipulative kind of guy. He wants to get his way in a way that you don't realize that he's doing it. And that is, it's hard because I'm not a professional actor, so it's something that I've had to really dive into. And all that jazz. Stoico and all that jazz come to Toronto's Princess of Wales Theatre March 26th.